In the next step we have to connect these Kona windows and to do this we have to go into the window settings and there we find one point which is called um, custom window corners I guess in English I don't know why it's German here in the international version but um, yeah it looks like this you see the, the icon here and um, you can check in the marks for individual corner one and two and i think on this side it's the corner one because that's the outside here and um, then you can choose between uh, three things in this case i would say i think glass but i have to look at the window uh, at, the, at the images Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's uh, glass on glass. Um, maybe it's um, frame on frame. I choose glass in this case, but it doesn't matter. And I click on OK. I choose the next one here. Go into the settings and do the same thing with individual corner two. It's 90 degrees. That's correct. And then I have only to track the points here to stretch the window horizontally to the corner points and that looks very 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 clean doing the same thing here And we're done with the window corners. The windows here are a big problem because um, that's not a wand, it's a shell and you cannot set a window into a shell. So we have to trick around a little bit and that's the by far most tricky part. Um, rebuilding the OD library in Helsinki but before we do this I think we will do this at the very end we are going to build the top level so let's take a look at the pictures again you see that um, the upper edge of the um, top level here is um, yeah it has this this wavy shape um, reminds me of the Elb Philharmonie in Hamburg a lot I don't know which building was built first, but it doesn't matter. Um, the thing is we have a division here in the middle. So we will draw the roof first and afterwards we will draw the facade. Um, the same thing or a similar thing like uh, we have done here. Only that we are just using the curtain wall tool and um, for the roof we will use the shell tool. And the shell tool can um, yeah, it can have these corner points and these waves on two sides, which are parallel. So we cannot have this here on this side and on that side, only on this and that, but I think that should be enough. So we start drawing the line, the edge here from the facade uh, with a polyline in a, I think it's the best thing to do this in a um, section first. So I create a new section from top or we can use this one as uh, three the height doesn't matter um, at this point but I need the outlines so I just um, draw one line here and one line here so I, I have the outer frame of the whole thing and then I just randomly put some points in here and um, usually they have these curved edges. When I look at the image on the other screen, I see that um, all of this is a little bit curved. Maybe something like this. I don't like this to be honest, so let's change it. looks better 
Okay, that's one side and the other side will look something like this. When I look at the image, it's just one bow and I drag this one up by five meters. And what I do now is I, um, yeah, I, no, I, I just considered drawing a 2D morph. So I have this in, in the 3D section or in the 3D window, um, but I don't need this. I can just switch back to my first floor plan and I draw a middle line so that I know where the middle of the building is where the division is of that whole thing the roof and then I just choose the shell tool and I think and I need the third geometry method and the first construction method that's right and I make it a simple structure with no material and enter size and rotation of the star profile so it should be something like not something like it should be exactly this and yes that looks correct even if there's this uh, big bow every time you use the third geometry method and the first construction method it looks like this and you can um, yeah, you can take away this bow by pressing um, or choosing uh, another corner point and I drag this one up and I switch back into my section and I pull this one to my line so that's my line of orientation and I add new points quite simple I add the points where I um, added the points of the polyline here so just um, keeping the cursor in front or on top of the polyline I will see these blue lights there and then I know where the corner points are and then I redraw the profile uh, that doesn't make sense here I delete the blue one and I put down the purple line here and I do the exact same thing with the second edge it's very simple in this case and it will look like this so that's pretty much one piece of the roof I could do the same thing for the other side um, but I will keep it simple and I will mirror and copy it and then I will just change or edit this edge here because on the pictures you can see that there is this uh, empty space I think there are windows inside I'm not sure and then it will look like this and yeah, I'm not satisfied because it looks too similar maybe we should again mirror the whole thing and we will have something like this and the only thing to do which is left is to draw the facade here on the top level I copy the settings of the lower one and I go back into the settings just to change the panels so or the panel material we have normal glass and uh, I will change this to another glass crest profile which is a standard material I think it looks a little bit greenish in uh, the original OD center it's um, it looks like a frozen glass but um, doesn't matter right now 
and we just redraw the facade here. And it looks something like this. We pull this on top. And that looks pretty much perfect. When I take a look at the pictures, I see, okay, it also has one division which goes through and a couple of ones here. But um, yeah, that's just detail working. But um, overall, it pretty much looks the same. So the good thing is I have a, um, a shell or two shells on the roof or as the roof. And I have the facade and there is this one um, option. I think it's in the standard window bar. Yeah, no, it isn't. So I right click and I go to connect and there's trim elements to roof or shell. Oh, here I see it. And then I choose the first one. Yeah, and the problem is um, everything which was outside of uh, this shell is completely gone. It's disappeared. So I have to improvise. Control and C and I have to choose um, solid element operations. So I right click again, connect solid element operations. My target is the facade or the curtain wall. The two shells here are the operators and I want a subtraction with upward extrusion execute and finally this looks quite correct we have these two areas here where it's yeah, let's say it's unclean but no problem we can click on our facade tool and we can change corner points make it a little bit wider it still doesn't work and now this works we have to, to do the same thing here and afterwards to make this um, clean we have to choose another solid element operation and we can do this in 3d and i choose a morph to do this which is laying on this um, yeah, on the wall here because the wall is really really um, straight and I draw this one upwards here make it a little bit wider than the whole building I need the uh, I want to have the x x axis but it doesn't let me choose now it works All right, and I extrude this. And I also copy this to the other side. I select both morphs and I make a union. So this is one morph. And again, solid element operations. My target are the two roofs or the two shells my operator is this morph and i just want a subtraction execute and this one could go onto a hidden layer which is called solid element operator and we will have a very clean roof now